Costa, I actually got him a gig in Ozzy through George Lynch. George Lynch called me one day and said he was in Dallas and he was auditioning for Ozzy and they need a bass player. He goes, that bass player you guys had would be perfect. And I, I called Costa. He went, he went there. He'd already quit our band like about three weeks prior. The way I understood it, I thought George had that gig locked down. But what happened was, when they saw Costa and his long, hideous black hair and his image and everything, he pretty much got the gig instantly. Well, Jake was auditioning too. When they saw those two guys together, they said, that's the band. Because Lynch had cut his hair pretty short. And, you know, he had it dyed. It was almost like the skunk dude. You right. Know what I mean? Right. Yeah, so I remember that. almost like almost new age looking those are my favorite ozzy releases bark at the moon and bark at the moon, ultimate yeah. sin or uh i love the jake era better i know everybody's like oh it's randy rhodes and i get it i like randy rhodes too but i oh, would yeah. jake was my favorite uh era in the band i just saw the, even the other day i was watching something where he talked about how don got fired and it was like at the us festival um, yeah you saw that where he'd like Ozzy headbutted him? I've known that story. Everything but the headbutt, I've, I've known that story forever. The only thing different about the story I heard was that he walked up to a helicopter to fly over a fence and they told him he was out of the van. That's the first time I heard that he went to the bus and they told him. But I knew that they um, got Daisley the night before and everything and, and Daisley was going to do the gig. But what I didn't know... Uh, and I knew they told Costa at the last minute. But um, what I heard was that Costa was upstaging Ozzy while he was singing. Like, in other words, he was in front of him. And Sharon called him into an office and said, not me at all. Just said, asked him to, you know, be behind Ozzy when he's uh, singing. You can go ahead and go up front or whatever when he's not singing and you're jamming or whatever. But when he sings, don't go walk in front of him. And what I heard was a few gigs later, he told the crew guy that he goes, I still do it, but I do it when they're not looking. That crew guy went straight to Sharon and told her. And so that's that's the reason I heard for the, for the very rude uh, firing. That makes sense to me now when I heard about Ozzy headbutting him because Sharon probably told Ozzy that, that he said that. I, I don't think they just, out of the blue, blue, just got all cruel and just fired him for no reason, you know. Was he doing the cheese grater stuff on the knuckles with you guys? No. Don is a true bass player to his core. He just took everything to the extreme when he was in our band. He used to just play bass. He was a big Getty Lee fan. He really knew how to play. I mean, this guy studied bass players like nobody's business, and he could really, really play. Played with his fingers. He was a monster bass player. I told him, I go, you know, because he was so reserved. He would just stand there, and he didn't move a muscle. And I go, dude, can you move around more? Because it looks like you, you hate what you're doing or something. And he just took it to levels that just were way beyond what I was asking. <laughs> Before I knew it, this guy had like the Queen Mary anchors wrapped around him. He had cheese graters and he just went basket weaver and, and he kind of quit. Well, he still played his bass, but he, he went all crazy. He was doing like solos with a pickaxe and bleeding all over the place. He got hepatitis like twice. So he, he went absolutely bonkers. Had, had he been in the band when Niven came down, he would he would have refused to go see us again. It, it, it was bad. But um, but the guy, when he played bass, I mean, he could really play. I'm serious. He awesome. He didn't really do anything after Ozzy, did he? Uh, he actually just totally disappeared. But I can tell you this, when he was in our band, he was he was kind of a kind of like a business leader. You know, he got all our gigs, really worked hard uh, to get the band, you know, as far as it could go. So he was real good with the business end and uh, a super great guy. <laughs> 